Welcome again. This is a new video about how to draw common tangent lines on two circles. Sorry, let me. The first thing we must do is just join this, the centers of the two circles. And next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of the segment O1, O2. I take a little bit more than the half of the segment and I draw two auxiliary arches above and below the segment. I do the same thing from point O2 and I get as a result two intersection points. They are these two ones in blue color with the marker. I'm going to highlight them. Uh, if I take a straight edge in your case just join the two points, you get the perpendicular bisector, and consequently, point N, I mean the, mi the middle point, the segment. Why? Because I'm looking for a circle which is going to pass through the two centers of the original circles. I mean, it's going to, its diameter is going to be. O1, O2. Uh, next thing I must do, I have to do, is just draw uh, or, or find out the sub subtraction uh, of the two radius. I mean, from the bigger one, uh, R1, uh, I'm going to detract the uh, smaller one, or R2. So, first thing you have to do is to draw on the upper side of the you're drawing a line horizontal and upon this line I'm going to transfer the radius coming from O1. This is the radius and of course I'm going to just from the, the starting point of the segment I'm going to put R1. Remember this length is corresponding to R2, I mean the biggest radius, the radius coming from the circle. This is R2, R R1, sorry, R1, the bigger one. And what we have to do next is take the measurement corresponding to this radius, the smaller one, O2. So I transfer again mm, by means of the compass. Yes, the distance. So this this little radius I get, I mean this segment remember I'm going to take another color so that you can this better distinguish this is R2 so the radius corresponding to O2 R2 so this is a detraction of the length of uh, R2 from the length of R1 well, what is remaining, I mean the, the rest, is the subtraction I'm looking for. Why? Because I need this distance in order to take it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to measure again with a compass. Measure it, yes. It's more or less this one. Yes, yes perfect. Okay, and I'm going to draw an auxiliary circle from point O1 its radius is R1 minus R2. Mm -hmm. So I get two points, as you can t tell on the image. Uh, I'm highlighting them and the scoring with the marker. Um, and these are two very important points in the general process. This is T1 and T2. Let's move both points. to label the results. What what did you 
are supposed to do is to join mm -hmm. yes in pink color O1 to T1 and stretch the line until the outer circle you already have of course from the very beginning so you get two new points on these circles let's label them as points T3 and T5 we're getting closer to the to the end we are about to finish but we need to, to something else it's going to be two radius hmm? because these are a solution but also oh this is this is point T4 uh, I'm going to draw two lines from O2 I mean two radius that are going to be parallel hmm? to O1 T3 and to uh, O1 T4 and uh, of course you're going to do this with the uh, set square in your case um, uh, just for the sake of the explanation and working this way but please take your uh, set square in order to finish and to accomplish this task yes T6 and T5 and just to finish you only have to join join point let's take a different color point T3 and T5 and point T4 and T6 and that's all uh, we are done so so long my friends <laughs>